Hey what's up guys welcome to the STS and today I'm going to show you how to run Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan on the VMware Workstation Pro. El Capitan is a great release by Apple so Sierra is out but still VMware doesn't support Mac OS to run it's one of the best virtual machines out there and um, I'm going to show you how to run. So first of all, you want to download the VMware Workstation Pro from the link right below. Then you want to download Unlocker 204 again from the link right below. And then you want to download Mac OS 10.11 El Capitan, the virtual, the VMware file right from the description below. Once you have all that downloaded, here's what you got to do. So, so you want to extract unlocker extracted here and then after extracting unlocker you're going to install VMware Workstation Pro using the trial version you do not want to mess up with unlock keys or something right here's the unlocker once you've got it installed it's just an easy install like any other program you do after that you go ahead and open unlocker and with that you want to do when install this batch file you're gonna run the command it's gonna be really short just like that it's gonna flash a window or your screen it's gonna do it really fast just like you saw over here and after that you got that then you got the VMware workstation pro unlocked and capable of running Mac OS after that you want to extract OS 10 El Capitan right where you want just where you want I just did it on the um, desktop it will be a zip file and eventually it's extracted it's this file over here and I extracted it and as you can see here's what I got I just extracted it over here and here it is so next what you're gonna do is open VMware Workstation Pro go ahead and create a new virtual machine right from here go, uh, select typical recommended next go to I will install operating system later the virtual machine will be created on a blank card that you want to select this go ahead and click on next you will see this option select Mac OS and select Mac OS 10 10.11 I will give you a guide to put on OS Mac OS Sierra soon for now we're gonna do El Capitan it's not in the stable release yet it's still beta um I think it's still beta so yep and we're gonna click on next we're gonna create the virtual machine name let's name it SES is the place we're here. You can let it the location where you be, but I'm gonna select it on the desktop. I'm gonna delete it here. And there you go. Click on next and split the virtual disk into multiple multiple files. It um actually it's easier to move the virtual machine to another but maybe we just just let it be it doesn't affect much. After that you will see this list, click on finish. And then you're gonna see this area. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and edit the virtual machine settings. After that, you wanna go to the hard disk and click on remove right over here. After you got that removed, you're gonna add, you're gonna see this message is accepted. And you want to select hard disk, click next, click on SATA, it's recommended, click next then choose use an existing virtual disk the second one the choose an existing virtual disk is what you've got to select right over here all right then you're gonna click next you're gonna browse for the file wherever is it for us it was on the desktop which is mac os 10 el capitan desktop this it's the file right over there on the desktop that i showed you earlier click on open and there we go just go ahead and finish you gotta select keep existing format that is really really important just connect keep existing format and it's done now here's some more settings you go to USB controller show all USB input devices go to disk DVD side SATA and just uncheck the connect at power on option just uncheck it and then you what you want to do is a lot more RAM for it to run 
um, it will run more smoothly so I'm gonna add more RAM go ahead and a lot a bit more core so I've allotted four cores to it and there we go that's all what we had to do right over here after that go ahead and click on OK those settings are now saved there you go you just created a virtual machine now you can power on the virtual machine just like that and it should start should start but if it does not start and you get this error right over here here's what you want to do go ahead and close this click on the folder wherever you created the virtual machine remember this new folder we can open that folder if you select the default location go ahead in your documents go to the mac os 10 el capitan virtual machine folder you yeah, then you navigate to the virtual machine configuration file this and click on open with notepad and after that in the last row type in smc dot version is equal to that um inward comma zero inward comma then you want to save this file save it and then close it after that your virtual machine should be good to go just like here around so I'm gonna power on the virtual machine and as you can see it's running I mean it will show this logo and after that it will run yeah there we go Apple logo it's gonna boot up so after that you're gonna set up your Mac just like your PC and you can go ahead and go take it to full screen ahead from here and click on exclusive mode if you want to full screen so I'm gonna go through the setup process so we got the virtual machine running as you can see it's totally running and I could do system preferences or whatever you have we may run this full screen I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna make some problems for me while recording it so yep it's totally running as you can see and you can do so you got your virtual virtual machine running thank you for watching guys hope you all enjoyed it and liked it a lot click the subscribe button for more and do like it check out the channel gamesters it's my gaming channel you're gonna laugh out a lot so check it out subscribe it a lot and smash a like below and thank you for watching do comment and i'll catch you in the next one